So um, when I set the class up, I was not sure on the right date. <laughs> so it was like guessing. They're almost ripe. I mean, they're ripe, but they're not, you know, when you pick peaches. Soft. Like they're, yeah, they're not like soft enough. They're hard. Mm -hmm. um, but they smell good. And I've been cutting them and, and just like checking. So they're pretty juicy, but I would say probably peak ripeness, ripeness will be about two weeks from now, now that I know what it's like today. Um, so I actually had to pull all of these off of branches uh, where when they're really ripe, they're just like falling off everywhere. Hey, all right, we will make room. <laughs> Um, those are not um, quite ripe when they are, they just fall off the tree. Um, at that point, once they hit the ground, they really start to like blacken pretty quickly. Um, nah. 24, 48 hours, they probably can sit there in the grass. Um, when they're on the ground, I just pick up the ones that are like unblemished. So um, I usually make about two batches of the black walnut tincture a year because I'll do like the early batch and then I'll wait until they're more ripe. This year is a good year. The holes are pretty big. Last year was horrible. Mm. It was so small. Um, we had like that early drought in the summer this year, but then we've had so much rain. A lot of the fruit trees look really great. Last summer though, we were dry like the whole summer long and that was the worst I've seen the black walnut. Mm -hmm. Hey Mona. Hey, we're squishing. Oh, in the jar. It's not here. Last year was the worst year I ever experienced for um, making tincture and uh, like the holes were so dry. Like even when they were like ripe, they were just like you cut them and there was like no juice. I freeze mine um, like extra whole pieces in freezer bags every year and um, usually I thaw them out and then still use them either to make tincture or directly on the skin and like all these pieces I froze like they would thaw out and they were like dry as a bone so I was like I can't wait till black walnut season this year because last year I didn't I'm sorry I yeah. don't want to interrupt I just put 20 and at two dollars were due last week. Oh, okay. Okay. So I Thanks. just took up. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. 20 dollars. Yeah, All right. So I have um, vodka and I also have apple cider vinegar. We're going to do a second um, fun thing as well with apple cider vinegar. If you would want to do your black walnut hull in the vinegar, you could. Um, up to you. Otherwise, alcohol. I tried vegetable glycerin for the hulls. It got so weird. I literally, like, I don't know what happened. Like, it, it like, fermented something weird. Mm -hmm. It was, like, bubbly, and I don't know why I tried it. Mm -hmm. I gave it to my son and I. I, like, maybe you want to pause this part. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be um, not as strong as the vodka. Um, so why make up or why make this concoction? It's like a very weird, like why do you want to do this? Um, it is a really good, powerful parasite cleansing um, herb and um, antifungal and candida. So like when I got into herbs, like I had um, Dr. Christopher School of Natural Healing, like this was one of their like main like his favorite herb, like he'd always teach about it. And I had candida issues, so black walnut was like something I started using a lot. And skin, so like eczema is usually like a mixture of like bacteria, candida, fungal, like it's like a mixed bag of stuff. So black walnut can be helpful for all kinds of skin things, good for digestion, get rid of, gets rid of parasites, it's just uh, pretty, pretty powerful and amazing. And um, 
And so we still use it often. I say, I, I tell you guys this all the time, but um, with having wrestlers, like I see skin disease a lot. So um, I use black walnut pretty faithfully <laughs> and try to make um, plenty for the whole year. Now, when you take it for like a parasite cleanse, it's good to mix um, and not in the same formula necessarily, although I have done clove, wormwood, and black walnut tincture together. Those three herbs work really effectively for parasites. Like you could just do the black walnut, but the wormwood, clove, um, parasites are funny and they, it's like viruses. Um, whoops, press pause. <laughs> what did I just get? I got a YouTube warning. I forget what they call it. Community. I violated the community something or other because I posted a short on a mushroom I was identifying, um, and I I don't know if it was the way I word, worded the title, but they're like saying like you're selling mushrooms, you know. And I'm like, it was like a 30 sec, 50 second short. I had a book out and I was trying to identify mushrooms, so I'm like, I'm not even putting up a mushroom video uh, again. <laughs> Okay, I should probably take that off. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to edit. I, I think I saw your mushroom video. Yeah. Put up. Yeah. Yeah. Like a mushroom. I don't know what Oh was my it. gosh, it was what fun. Was it? But I don't know. I don't know either. I was guessing. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Who was I? Okay, wormwood, clove, and black walnut. So um, I've made the tincture with the three together, and then I also have done black walnut tincture and then made wormwood capsules and clove capsules. Mm -hmm. And you kind of like hit all the parasites <laughs> with the three herbs because they're very resistant and they like um, become resistant to the different herbs, apparently. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I would say. Do you need all three? I think I would, I've had a lot of success with just black walnut, but so once in a while, I throw in the clove and the wormwood, I guess, for good measure. So, oh, other other ways and uses. Um, so I played around with strengthening teeth enamel with swishing with the black walnut um, tincture. So swishing, just spinning out, just like mouthwash. And um, I have seen for myself and other family members, um, Spots that were cavity, appeared like cavity, soft spots in the enamel, um, harden. It, the, whatever, all of the components of the black walnut hull help the enamel to fill in and calcify. So um, I tried to get rid of a very bad cavity for one of my kids. It was a baby tooth. It seemed to be going in the right, like it was reversing, like it, it seemed like it was filling in, um, but then it stopped working at one point. But I think it's because the other, the big tooth was now like in place and it, it came out That's soon good. after. So when, you know, when you're working with baby teeth, it's really hard to fix them because like the big teeth are gonna be coming in or they are in and then the blood supply is just not feeding the tooth. But um, when working with adult teeth that have like anything that just started, if it's not like deep into the enamel, I have seen um, reversal. And so um, for good measure, you can swish with it, you know, maybe once is a week. Is that full strength? The black walnut, yeah. Yeah, just like swish 30 seconds, spit out. Um, then you could brush your teeth afterwards, but you know your teeth are porous, so you're going to like really like absorb into the teeth. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why you swish. It's just like going in, and then if you want to brush your teeth since you just had the alcohol in your mouth, um, that's what I do. How else do we use black do we walnut? Do with tea? like that vinegar thing, like uh, without alcohol, uh, like. Uh if vinegar you made the swish? vinegar, I I haven't done a vinegar swish. <laughs> yeah, that's 
Um, probably, yeah, probably. But vinegar can be hard on the enamel, actually. Yeah. So uh, I don't yeah, know. Try to do that. And, yeah. um, okay, you can just stop for now. Right. So, Wait, jar is almost <laughs> ready to be filled with the menstruum, which we are using vodka today. Here's the bowl of black walnuts. Here is the holes in process of being cut up. Don't, I wouldn't feel that as, well, that's probably okay. So here we're making crab apple extract with apple cider vinegar. And so we're just filling up jelly jars with the crab apples and then we're going to add the apple cider vinegar and let it sit for two weeks just like a tincture on the windowsill. And then we'll strain it off and use tonically or a little bit in salads. So here is this gorgeous extract apple cider vinegar and crab apples this is going to be our heart healthy tonic tincture These crab apples are good for the heart good for circulation let's watch my class work on this yeah, I can't no. do mildew. No, and yeah, so, and I always tell them, like, yes, yeah, if there's, like, two sides of them, they're going to do this. Oh, this one has a boo-boo in it. What's wrong with that one? I like, I think I...